What do the woman at the well and the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment have in common? They were desperate. Ladies, we all have friends that are desperate. What if there was an event that you could invite women that you know, unbelieving women, to learn how to have a no regrets life by coming to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior? That's what this event will be. A place where you can invite your girlfriends to come and hear the hope of the gospel. With laughter and sound teaching from scripture, you are going to have an opportunity to bring your friends to come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Pray about it, join us, invite your friends. We are so excited to have this event. I am telling you, God is entrusting us as warriors for Christ. This is God talking. This is the Lord's reply to Habakkuk. Look among the nations and watch. Be utterly astounded for I will work a work in your day which you would not believe even though it were told to you. Ladies, you have been chosen by the utmost highest God in history for this time. But look among the nations and watch and see that God is doing something in your day that you wouldn't believe even if it were told you. Do you think that Esther knew that God was doing something amazing in her day? Well, here's a certain thing. Do you think that half of the people in the Bible, when they were in the middle of whatever was going on in their life, that they were like, oh, this is going to be in the Bible one day? No. <laughs> They're just living their lives. Because I guarantee you, if Abraham thought it was going to be in the Bible, he never would have had sex with Hagar. <laughs> Man, talk about following you around. <laughs> God in history has called us to this. And I know we need a retreat, we need to get away and hang out and laugh and eat chocolate. But ladies, in history for this time, God's doing something astounding and he's called us to minister later. But as we pulled into the town of Patterson, I almost had an anxiety attack. And then I heard the still small voice in my heart that said, do not be afraid or dismayed, for I am your God. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I will help you. I think that's Isaiah 41.10. But you know when the word's in your heart and you're freaking out, the spirit of God, and you know that's the spirit speaking to you. And, and when that happens, be in awe that God talked to you. Don't take that for granted. I said, okay. And then the scripture, remember when Paul went into, I want to say it's Corinth, but I'm not sure, I can't remember right now. Um, and he kind of was freaking out about going into this town, and God said, don't be afraid, for I have many in this city. And that scripture came to my heart. Okay. Okay. Wow, that was 18 years ago. Our church is filled with young adults that got saved and came to Christ, uh, senior adults that have come to the Lord. And you know, here's the thing. God knows who they are before they surrender to Him. Their name is written in His book. He tells us, go get them, girls. I'm sending you to reap the harvest 